young people in Nigeria are experiencing setbacks to economic growth and innovation development. And for this cause, the president as well as other stakeholders are working to create Nigerian Startup Bill. Youths in the numbers making known their intention in rally to create awareness about the Nigerian Startup Bill. The bill seeks to ensure that Nigerian's laws and regulations are friendly, clear, planned, and work for the tech-enabled ecosystem. The project manager for the Nigerian Startup Bill, Victor Famubade, is confident about the passage of the bill and tells us more about it. The bill basically talks about things that technology startups can actually gain and benefit. And when you look at this bill, you have things like incentives, you have a portal where you can actually also you know, um, access um, and also lodge things like complaints and also gain um, from the benefits within this portal. But what the bill will do, at least when it comes to things like human capital, because there's the, there's the aspect around talent development with the bill, um, and it's going to also address that. And again, in terms of um, investors that are tripping out or founders that are leaving the country, I'll just tell them that they should be hopeful of what this bill is going to achieve. Participants will be at the rally, including tech entrepreneurs, sponsors, donors, to mention a few, who spoke to Ross, tells us the benefits of the bill. The bill is a bill that has been laid down to encourage startups, to encourage tech, especially youth. We know that Nigerian youth are very, very creative and we know that we have so many ideas, so many inspiring ideas from Nigerian youth and Nigerian entrepreneurs. So this bill is just something that will protect them. For example, if you want to start up a company, if you want to have a tech company, or even if you want to be hired into a company. So this bill has regulations and law that will protect you as a startup. That is just basically what the bill is about. I to say, Concerning the uh, Nigerian uh, startup bill engagement in the five states going on right now, that this is what this is not a one-way side. It is we with the government. It is the government putting the in, our interest, even as youth, at heart. Because this startup bill will actually benefit the youth largely than any other set of people in the world. It is hoped that if this bill is passed into law, it will achieve its purpose, which is to make laws that govern tech companies. For Ryan Impact Television, I'm Grace Paul Adebayo.